All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my May 2016 update video for, you guessed it, May 2016. Woo! So yeah, as always with these uh, monthly update videos, I'm going to be going over some personal life stuff as well as youtube -y stuff. But first, let's have some coffee. Ah, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> that was my cheap rip off of the One Cup of Japan from Charlie no Saikatsu. Um, good channel, check them out. Uh, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below in the boop boops for you to check out. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so let's go over some uh, some YouTube stuff. First on the list for YouTube stuff, um, now that the spring semester is over, I can finally start uh, working on some more YouTube stuff. I kind of put a lot of uh, doing stuff on YouTube on hold. Uh, last month just because uh, of finals and stuff like that and uh, now that finals are over for the semester um, I'm starting to uh, bring back some uh, some past projects and starting to work on videos again so I'm really excited about that um, the past project that I talked about last month um, with making like how to make a, a crock pot full of white chili uh, that's going to be coming out this month um working on that um let's see uh got new uh, new episodes of andy cade already out actually um just started uh releasing slime rancher at the time of this recording so if uh, you guys want to check that out that's pretty cool um i'm also working on a new playthrough um i'm about three episodes in for the five episode set so that's going to be coming out very soon as well. And uh, I'm also looking for, uh, for new suggestions for uh, Andy Cade and stuff like that. Um, as far as like what games you'd like me to play and stuff like that. Now, um, now with the whole Andy Cade series, um, like, I like doing Andy Cade, don't get me wrong. But it is a very uh, time consuming uh, series to do. So... I'm just debating on whether I should really continue doing it or maybe make it like an every once in a while thing or something like that. I'm not I'm not really sure, but um, let me know in the comments below in the boopity boops or send me a personal message if you'd like. Um, oh wait, <laughs> I forgot, YouTube doesn't do personal messages anymore. Um, just send me an email, um, email address is in the about page for my channel. You just go there, find the email address and Bam, there you go. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, like I enjoy doing the Andy Cade series, but it is a very uh, time consuming series to do. Uh, not only to record, but to edit and stuff like that. So, I just like to know if you guys like what you see because uh, if I'm putting all that time and effort into making a series, um, and if you guys are just kind of eh with the whole thing, then it's like, I could probably be spending my time uh, better, you know, doing something else you guys do like and stuff like that. So uh, just want to make sure my time is being used wisely, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, anyway, um, now we've got that out of the way. I'm also looking for uh, new YouTube ideas as well. Um, since I came back to America, it's it hasn't been easy. Um, coming up with new exciting YouTube stuff because my channel was basically a travel channel for a while and uh, I'm not really doing as much traveling as I used to and now that I'm out of the Navy and I'm pretty much just back to being a regular old Joe Schmo uh, going to college and stuff like that so it's kind of difficult to find uh, new and interesting things to do and also those new and interesting things do end up costing money, which I don't have a whole lot of. <laughs> so budget's a bit tighter now, but uh, I'm looking for uh, new ideas and stuff like that. I'm always looking for new ideas, but uh, I'm just putting it out there. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And also I'm thinking about uh, doing a podcast series. Right now it's just kind of in the developmental stage I'm looking to do like kind of an interview series with a lot of uh, top uh, YouTubers and stuff like that. A lot of well-known people on like YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, but again, I have to uh, contact 
them or their people, depending on who it is. So uh, it's definitely a work in progress, but it's something I want to do. Um, still, it's still very much in a infancy stage right now. I'm still uh, hashing out what I all want to do with the podcast, but the basic idea of it is to um, interview content creators. I hate using that word, but uh, basically to interview like YouTubers, stuff like that, and see, you know, what drew them onto YouTube, what they do on YouTube, um, different milestones that they've gone through, any kind of tips and stuff that they uh, might have for other YouTubers or content creators. <laughs> Again, I don't like using that word, but it is what it is. So um, that's the basic uh, just for the, uh, the idea of the series. Um, again, it's all a matter of coordinating with guests and getting them on and stuff like that. So uh, be sure to uh, keep an eye on that. And uh, another thing I want to talk about here uh, involving YouTube stuff before we move on to the personal life section I'm also working on a secret project right now. Um, I had to put it on hold uh, when I moved out here to Western, to uh, like the Portage, Kalamazoo area, because um, I wanted to focus on school and uh, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, life kind of happened. So uh, it kind of got lost in the shuffle. But now that uh, the spring semester is over, I have a lot more time now to focus on you know, YouTube projects, including that one. So right now I'm in the middle of uh, working on it right now, actually. <laughs> I just got done rendering one of the videos. So uh, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna continue working on the project. And I'm hoping to make it kind of a, uh, a documentary at some point. Um, but again, like with the podcast, it's all a matter of coordinating with people and, you know, getting times to sit down and interview them and stuff like that. So it's not something I can just hammer out in a couple days and bam, there you go. You know, this is going to be a very um, carefully crafted documentary and I'm still in like the writing stages, the very, very early write writing stages. So once I get something a bit more concrete and I get uh, proper permissions to um, uh, disclose what it's about, I guess, uh, then I can talk to you guys a bit more freely about it. But for now, just know that I'm working on something. <laughs> Can't talk about it just yet, but uh, hopefully I, I can soon. So, now that we've got the, uh, the youtube -y stuff out of the way, take a sip of coffee, and uh, we'll talk about some personal life stuff. Ah, it's good coffee. Um, anyway, so personal life stuff. Um, the, sem the spring semester is finally over. I'm going to be starting uh, summer classes next week, um, you know, not letting, you know, got to strike while the iron's hot, right? So uh, some of the, one of the reasons why I'm doing uh, summer classes is not only to keep my GI Bill BAH stipend so that way I can still afford to live in this place, but uh, also to kind of keep myself in the student mindset. And uh, it was really difficult for me to kind of get back into that mindset again uh, after being out of school for so long. Like uh, before this, the last time I was in school was in 2007. So uh, needless to say, I was a little rusty at uh, being a student. So I had to relearn all that. Uh, I had to relearn how to learn basically. <laughs> and then also just dealing with a lot of change that happened in a very short amount of time, you know, getting out of the Navy, moving back to America from Japan, moving to a whole new place with where I don't know anybody, going back to school. All this happened in very quick succession. And it was very difficult for me to uh, just kind of wrap my head around all of that. Now, I mean, on the surface, it was kind of like, yeah, of course, you know, to, you know at first it was just like, well, it's the next step, you know, no big deal, right? You know, just whatever, move on. <laughs> but uh, once I actually got down to actually doing it, then, you know, problem, problems started to, uh, to surface. And uh, I did find some difficulty with uh, some of the classes, not all, but a couple of the classes, which, uh, by the way, final grades came out, and uh, 
those classes I weren't, I wasn't uh, doing so good in, ended up not doing so good grade wise. So um, again, another reason why I'm doing the summer courses so I can build my GPA back up again. I did talk with my uh, uh, VA coordinator at the campus and they said that I can retake the classes, but uh, I'm gonna wait until you know much later to retake them because uh, you know I want to make sure that I'm uh, in the right mindset and stuff like that you know before I retake them and you know because I'm shaking off a lot of rust you know with going back to school and stuff like that so I got to make sure that I'm in a good mindset before I even attempt to retake those classes but uh, I am able to so uh, just yeah, <laughs> in the future, I might retake those classes, so yeah. Um, but uh, overall, you know, this semester, um, you know, it was definitely a learning experience, you know. I mean, obviously, going back to school, the <laughs> But not just with uh, the academics, but also with uh, how I dealt with uh, a lot of change, um, overcoming a lot of obstacles, um, just the whole process in general because um, I think I would have had you know a much better time adjusting and stuff like that had I um, gotten in in the fall I would have you know gotten honorably discharged a bit earlier so that way I would have time to find a place have time to get a job and all this kind of stuff but uh, you know it is what it is so I had to deal with uh, what I had um, there's a lot of uh, decisions that I made that I shouldn't have done, you know, looking back on it now. Um, again, with uh, enrolling in the spring versus enrolling in the fall, the, uh, the job market was pretty much, you know, nobody was hiring at all, you know, across the board, no matter what job I looked into, um, nobody was hiring because, you know, it was the winter and stuff like that. But uh, it wasn't until... Uh, last month, actually, you know, when I was studying for finals, that I started getting callbacks from all these different companies that I had applied to over the months, and they're like, "Hey, you know, come in for an interview. Come in for an interview. Hey, <laughs> I'm like, where were you guys like two, three months ago? Shit." But uh, you know, I was grateful for the callback, but still kind of like, where the hell were you guys? Um, but now, I'm happy to say that I'm gainfully employed. Um, just got hired at uh, McDonald's. I know. <laughs> Had to eat a big slice of humble pie with that one, actually, because um, I didn't, you know, one of my things that I was looking for when I was looking for a job was to not go back to fast food because that was like my big thing. You know, I didn't want to be one of those failure stories of, oh, he got out of the military and all he can get is flipping burgers and oh, he's such a loser and shit like that. But, uh, you know, I had to approach it with a different mindset in that um, I'm going back to school. So, I mean, McDonald's isn't my career. <laughs> you know, I'm not planning on making it my career. Um, it's just uh, a nice little part-time gig that I have to help me pay the bills and stuff like that and help me live a fairly comfortable life, you know. Um, I don't exactly live super lavishly in my one bedroom apartment, but uh, you know, it helps. It'll help with uh, a lot of the extra costs and stuff like that because uh, another misconception uh, about like the GI Bill, you know, the BAH and stuff like that is that it, you know, pays for everything. And uh, I guess that depends on where you live and your living arrangements and stuff like that. Like, if you lived in the dorms, like, you'd be straight balling because you would still be able to collect that much money, although I think you still have to pay, like, the room and board fee or something like that. I, I'm not sure exactly how that works. I don't know if that's separate or if that's tacked on to whatever the GI Bill pays. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, or even if I had, like, roommates or something like that, that would uh, greatly alleviate... Uh, the cost of living and stuff like that but uh i don't have them just living by myself which i'm totally fine with um and i just got to uh work a little bit you know 
I don't have, I don't need like gobs and gobs of hours. I just need a little bit to help me uh, get by, you know. So it's not like the BAH doesn't pay anything. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> I just need a little part-time gig to kind of help uh, cover for some extra expenses. No big deal. You know, it's not my career again. So, and plus uh, a lot of the jobs that I was looking at that, uh, you know, were very high paying and they weren't in fast food, <laughs> I'll put it that way, um, were several towns away. And uh, after experiencing winter here, um, it's probably best that I don't work out of town uh, for the time being because, uh, you know, there was a lot of times where the lake effect snow was so severe that, you know, I'm surprised I came back home uh, in one piece, pretty much. Like, there was one, one time where the snowfall was so fierce and the plows weren't on the roads, or at least the roads that I was going down that um, what it normally takes me about 15, 20-ish minutes to get from my apartment to school, you know, give or take traffic. But uh, in that instance, it took me over an hour to get back home. And I was just like, <laughs> I can't work out of town. You know, if, if there's gonna be this much snow, I it just, doesn't make sense for me to work out of town because if it took me this long to get home, you know, imagine if I got a job, you know, in Grand Rapids or Battle Creek or something like that, and I'd have to drive a long ways, although Battle Creek's fairly really close, but you know, like Grand Rapids, that's easily an hour away, you know, by car. And uh, just imagine if it started snowing during that time, it just, it just wouldn't be feasible. And again, I also looked into work studies, but uh, they don't have uh, enough hours for me to really benefit a whole lot from it because they pay, generally they pay like minimum wage. And uh, a lot of what they do is they kind of work on like, once you get either up to a certain amount of hours or you earn enough up to a certain like pay cap or whatever, then they pay you. So it's not like a once every week or every other week sort of thing. It's just you reach up to, I don't know, say $500. And then once you reach $500, then they pay you. So for something like that, like it just wasn't really feasible for me. So uh, again, that's why I decided to uh, get a job a bit more, you know, a bit more locally, we'll say with McDonald's, but I um, had orientation with them last week, uh, just waiting on my uniforms to come in so I can officially start, start. I'll go through training, get some hours, stuff like that. Uh, so that should be starting either this week or very early next week, I'm expecting. Um, if I haven't heard back from them this week, I'll give them a call, see what's going on. But in any event, uh, I see my uh, camera battery is getting a little low, so I think we'll end things here, so yeah. This is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this uh, monthly update video for May 2016. Woo. And uh, for watching my other stuff. Also, I want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.